Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in your Calculus 2 video set. We're finishing up section 10.2 now, and now we're looking at the last goal, how to find the surface area of a parametric curve that's rotated about an axis. This is going to be very similar to what we've done before, so let's go ahead and jump into an example right away. Alright, so we want to find the area of the surface generated by rotating this curve, x equals t squared, and y equals 3t minus t cubed, on the interval from 0 to 1, about the different axes. And so how are we going to start with this? Well, we're going to start in the exact same place we did with regular Cartesian functions. We had a formula, and that formula looked like surface area was equal to, well, what did we have? We had taking a little piece of the arc length, a little piece of the arc length, and rotating it through some sort of circumference. And then we added up all those little pieces, and that's our general formula, the integral of 2 pi r and ds. And for Cartesian functions, we had to decide which expression we wanted to use for ds, and then match our radius value with that associated variable. But that's actually much easier in this case where we're dealing with parametric equations. Because we only have one representation for ds, a little piece of the arc length, uh, for parametric equations. For us, that's going to be just the square root of the derivative of x with respect to t. Remember that's my dot notation. It means the derivative of x with respect to t. Plus the derivative of y with respect to t squared dt. All right, so that's our expression for ds when we're working with parametric equations. Now the next thing we have to do is now that we have this expression in terms of t as a function of t, we have to figure out how to get r as a function of t. And that's going to depend on which axis we're rotating about. So for instance, if we're taking our curve and we are finding the surface area, well, if we take this curve rotated about the x-axis, for instance, well, we have 2 pi, and then we have our expression here, our square root of some stuff dt. But if we rotate about the x-axis, then this is our radius value. When we rotate it about the x-axis like that, and the radius of rotation is right here. And this is the distance from the x-axis up to the curve. So this will be our y value. But we need y as a function of t. And that's easy for us to get when we're dealing with parametric equations because we have a function that represents y as a function of t. So all we're going to do for our radius value is plug in that 3t minus t cubed, y of t. And now we can just calculate the other pieces we need x dot is going to be the derivative of x with respect to t. That'll be 2t, and then we'll square that. The derivative of y with respect to t is going to be 3 minus 3t squared, and we'll square that value as well. And then we're integrating this over our range of t values from 0 to 1. And so that should be the integral that represents the surface area of us rotating this curve around the x-axis. Now, what changes if we're looking for the surface area as we rotate about the y-axis? Well, this really is going to be a new integral, but a lot of the pieces are going to be the same. We're still working with the same curve. So because we're working with the same curve, our representation for ds is going to be exactly the same. So we don't need to change any of that. And of course, we're still having our 2 pi here. So the only real question is, what are we going to use for r? Now when we rotate this about the, the y-axis, so here's my, my other side here, and this is my rotation, my radius value is this distance. Now here's my radius value, and that's the distance from the y-axis over to the curve, so that's going to be our x distance, but once again, I need this as a function of t. But luckily, once again, I already have x as a function of t, it's just that parametric equation. So now my radius is going to be t squared. And once again, because I'm dealing with the same curve, I'm going to integrate over the same interval from 0 to 1. And so this should be our expression. This should be an integral that represents the area if we take this parametric curve and we rotate it about the y-axis. So you can see it's really just a natural extension of our original Cartesian case. We're still just looking at the integral of 2 pi r ds. We just have a new ds and new expressions for r. Alright, so that concludes this video. Go ahead and try some more of the problems. Thank you for your time.